a little bee helping us pick stuff apart. What we're out here doing is checking our compost. We do not want it to get too hot. That bad boy's cooking about 135 degrees or so. And we're kind of spreading it out, creating a nice little nest here. We're gonna create more matter in the center to kind of slow the burn on this. We're gonna use a bunch of wood chips. We already got our wood chips in there and this is super hot. You can just see the steam coming off that. So our compost is heating up. It's reaching very active levels, about 135, 140 degrees. So what we are doing with all of that energy that we're saving in here, we have our water. It's very dirty. We got a lot of dust in there. I want to take the temperature of the water, which is 38. And then we get the water that's coming out of here. It's about 41, 42 because we just fired the system up and it's running through all our compost, but it's pulling this 38 degree water up and into our compost, so it's transferring heat. Another heat transfer system we have here is this little solar powered fan. It is not sunny today, and this is a waterproof system. There is no sun. It is pretty cloudy and gloomy today, but we're getting great airflow from this little tiny fan here. So we've just got this together pretty much. We just put this pipe in and ran the tubing all through our compost pile. This is a metal ducting for like a dryer vent. So we are sucking all of the cold air down through the bottom of our greenhouse and pumping it through our compost pile heater and pushing it back out into our greenhouse here. And I painted that black just so it would absorb more heat so the sun will heat it up and automatically draw warm air from it also. We're just waiting for all this stuff to heat up. We just got this running, this whole system. We just turned the water on, we just turned our fan on, and we had just reallocated our compost pile. It is a lot larger out there. And like we showed, it's about 135 degrees already. I just wanna show the temperature. We're shining it up in the top. So this system is already heating up and starting to push warmer air. This is 51, 52 degree air flowing through it. It's pulling about 44, 45 degree air from the bottom of our greenhouse, flowing it through there and starting to heat it up. I can really feel the flow coming through there. So that is awesome. This is going to work well for us. As long as this little solar panel holds up for us. We were really excited to get our compost water heater up and running. We've already got 50 some degrees coming up. That has heated up in the five minutes I've been out here. So all of this is a nice solid sealed system. So as we're transferring all of that heat to our water here, it's running up underneath all of these bricks. It comes all the way up to my feet here and all the way back down on the base of our beds. So this is gonna achieve a nice good heat source for our beds. That compost pile is large out there. We should be able to burn that for over a month here at 100 plus degrees. So that being said, this little system, oh, the sun's starting to come out a little bit. That's going to make our fan run even better here. You can see that really picking up speed. Okay, so I had ran inside and grabbed a tea light candle. I just wanted to show what kind of flow that's getting. That is blowing it out almost. You can see it blowing that smoke right out of there. That is awesome so i had picked up all of these mylar blankets for 50 cents a piece a year back or so and i am going to stick them on the wall here all right so the system has heated the water up in the bottom of here and the water coming in is getting hotter and hotter I'm trying to get it directly on there 65 degrees coming through now and that's after about a half an hour it took me a little while to set all this up but it's getting sunny, it's reflecting. We're creating a lot of nice warm air in here. All of these systems are running together perfectly. It is about 1.30ish right now. I wanted to come out and check our systems. I wanted to come out here and get a reading. Our water is almost 60 degrees in this tub now, and it started very cold this morning. And we are actively blowing 63, 65 degree air into our greenhouse. 
So I just wanted to show how well these systems actually are working. And this is the first day running. It's almost like a sauna out here now and it's only about 29 degrees outside. And I am sweating in my sweatshirt here. So we've brought our reflective mylar down to our hay bales outside there. We've got about an inch gap. So we've got good insulating factors in the whole northern wall here. We've got all of these systems running for us on their own. They're all continuing to run off solar power. They are all self-sufficient. This is the kickstart of actively heating our greenhouse here. We have some very, very cold temperatures on the way, some single digits, maybe negatives coming up in a week or two. So we're going to try and stave off those freezing temperatures and keep everything in here alive as long as we possibly can here. 